whatever. I'll pop back again. So today I'm going to be showing some carrots and I'm going to be showing them in these old water tankers. These are the ones that you usually find up in your loft. Uh, I've already shown some in this bed and I've put interplanted them with some more onions. Uh, this side we've got some Autumn King and they're just starting to come up now. I didn't think we were going to get any germination on them, which is why I went out and bought more seeds. And then on this side, I'm going to board, we're just starting to see signs of germination there. So I take that board off. And the seeds that we're going to be showing today are Autumn King 2. And the only ones that they had were on this carrot tape. So I've seen people using them. I'm going to give them a go. Um, virtually no thinning out, so that'll save a bit of time. It comes in a six metre roll, and you can just cut it down to whatever size you like. So, I'm going to give them a go and put them in here. I've had this tub filled up for about two weeks now, about a week and a half. And when pulling out any weeds as and when I see them, hopefully, shouldn't be too many more germinating in here now. But it's quite easy enough to tell which ones are the carrots, which ones aren't. So I'm just going to go and get a pair of scissors to cut these into the right lengths. I'll bring the camera in a bit closer and show you what we're going to do. Okay then, so the Autumn King 2. And like I said, this container has been filled up to the bottom here with stones and bits that I've sifted out of the compost. And then the rest is all sieved, uh, old spent compost, and a bit of homemade stuff on the top. That's why we're getting all these seeds coming through. So, split this into two. And then unroll it. And you can see there how far apart the seeds are spread. Should just save a bit of time thinning out in the long run. So I'm just going to cut these into lengths. A little bit shorter than the actual tub. Make a little furrow and place the tape in that. Probably do four rows in this tub. Uh, I'm not going to add any more onions into this one. That is what I might do is put a couple of pots of onions around here. But these containers are about a foot off the ground. And there's plenty of other alliums here. Hopefully they should be okay from any parrot fly. I've never had any problems with them.
And just before we cover these up, I'm just going to give them a quick soak. Like so. Soak the bloody seeds. Then I'll just give that, just cover them up. So the last thing I'm going to do to these is I was going to put these boards on top like I did with the other ones, but fortunately these are a little bit long. I don't want to go cutting them just for this. So I've cut out a piece of cardboard to the same size as this, and I'll just place this on top, weigh it down with something. And just keep checking on this every day. And as soon as I see signs of germination, I'll remove this cardboard and go from there. So that's going to be it for this one today, guys. I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And drop me a comment below. Thanks for now.